Imagine a world without the ability to communicate instantly. Share. Connect. With our loved ones. Peers. Communities. Without possibilities at our fingertips. And solutions right by our side. Communication and uh, the exchange of information is one of the most important parts of our society. Establishing that connection has been where I see engineering to be human and real. IEEE touches everyone in their everyday lives because technology touches everyone in their everyday lives. We count on energy systems. Uh, we count on very complicated technology to, to monitor our health in ways that we, we don't have to pay attention to because we know someone else's. This wouldn't exist today, right? The, the camera that's recording this, the, the video, that the screen that you're watching on. Anyone who ever uses a wireless Wi-Fi system to get access to the internet is making use of an IEEE standard. Or if you're using an ethernet cable, anyone who uses the internet is making use of an IEEE standard. The great thing about being part of a society like IEEE is it helps to foster that constant learning environment. It does this through a number of activities, either through its international conferences, uh, through its workshops, through uh, its short courses, and through its publications. Some of the IEEE programs that I'm involved in are outreach activities where we will bring in younger students who are K through 12 or in high school and we'll bring them in and we'll show them the research that we do. Knowing that there are other women that engage with engineering, uh, showing that role model, I think it's important. It's the interaction among people, it's the side conversations, it's the chatting in front of a whiteboard that makes it so valuable. How would life as we know it be different? What would I have missed? Changed. Felt. Remembered. Would I still embrace the same options? Accomplishments. Arazuhawa Amidha. That define me now. I see IEEE as a center point, no matter where you are in the world. Doing this fiber optic cable that we are laying around the continent of Africa, that will allow people in Africa to have access to the internet and be able to have affordable education uh, through the internet, affordable healthcare opportunities through the internet. I started a project called Automated Screening System for Autism. In India, the parents, they go from one doctor to the other doctor, and they lose about precisely about two years to come to a conclusion the child is affected with autism. The beauty about this software is it identifies the developmental delays in children and helps the ch child to be subjected to an early intervention program. I'm really excited about this renewable energy research that we're doing because I feel like it's so important to our world not only just to introduce these new exciting technologies but to really think about the effect that they're having on our world and on the environment. In recent years I've gotten very interested in the communication systems used by first responders, firefighters, paramedics. This this is work that was initially motivated uh, by the 9-11 the tragedies where uh, way too many people lost their lives at the World Trade Center just because the communication systems didn't do what they should. I joke with my friends that I'm an airplane doctor. I work around the engines, I work along the wings, I work in the flight deck and through the entire interior and I basically solve problems. So my work right now is really impacting a lot of people for the future and, and my, my kids eventually um, will be impacted by the work that I do. For me, the exploration of computer communications has been an endless frontier. And the reason is simple, it's really all software. And software has no end. If you can imagine it, you can program it. If you can program it, it becomes real. And that has been the evolution of the internet and my personal career for the last 35 years. Would I still live in a world where borders are crossed? Views are shared and connections are made. Seamlessly, effortlessly. Innovation does not happen in a vacuum, and you can have the smartest people in the world, but without collaboration, the technology is not going to actually go anywhere. It typically breaks all the barriers. It doesn't have any boundary. As we move into the future, wireless technology is going to be far more important, and that's going to be important in all areas of life as we know it. 
that still new standards to be developed. We will talk to our appliances and they will talk back to us. We will find ourselves communicating with each other in three-dimensional collaborative environments, but our children, and especially our grandchildren, will take it all for granted. It won't be strange and unusual. It won't be science fiction. It will be simply there. IEEE is, is essential as we move forward uh, in, in solving these new problems and providing an avenue for the research to move from research to reality. Because I stand here today as a mother, son, brother, friend, father, daughter, gratified to know the Freiheit der Exploration, the power of advanced engineering, the true comforts of home, appreciative to feel safe and adventurous, hopeful and empowered, content and thankful, thankful to look into my child's eyes and see a life my parents never dreamed possible and see a better world just waiting to be built.